Yo, what's going on everybody? It's Christian here and in this video I want to share with you all today how to start calisthenics if you're an overweight beginner and some of the advantages I think come with starting calisthenics as an overweight beginner. So first things first, there's really only two things I would want you to start to focus on when it comes to starting calisthenics as an overweight beginner because when I started calisthenics I was around 250 plus pounds which is I guess, duh, overweight, right? So along my journey, there's a lot of things that I've learned that are gonna help you progress faster. And um, some of the key things that I focused on that kept me progressing a shit ton and really, you know, the kind of advantages that come with it because I know how daunting it can be um, to start calisthenics if you're overweight, right? Because you see all these skinny guys only doing calisthenics, all these front lever plans and stuff like that. So. Um, I want to share with you some of the things that will help you get to that point because at one point I was at that point. There was a point where I really didn't think I was ever going to get this lean so that I could keep on progressing towards calisthenics. I genuinely thought that I was going to have to be that big heavyweight guy doing this kinds of stuff. So you first have to understand that you have to keep the mindset that you can get this lean in order to do these kinds of exercises because it's not as daunting as you might think. It's not as hard to get there as most people might think. Um, so yeah, the two things you wanna focus on is the first thing being you have to master your body's composition. And what I mean by that is you wanna lose weight. You wanna drop fat because when it comes to calisthenics and body weight training, um, one of the things is that it's highly dependent on your relative strength. So the heavier you are, the harder the movements are going to be. And if you're an overweight beginner, like I said, you might be at an advantage because when you start losing weight, when you start uh, progressing in your body weight training journey on your fundamentals, like your push-ups, pike push-ups, pull-ups, chin-ups, dips, um, legs as well. But I mean, for me personally, I think that you should be hitting legs with external weight um, if you can. But really, you know, going back to calisthenics is that relative strength, the leaner you are, the easier everything is, everything is going to be. And if you're overweight, working on fundamentals, you're gonna keep on progressing consistently because you're gonna be losing weight. And like I said, relative strength when it comes to body weight training, the, the, the leaner you get, the easier it is for you to be doing push-ups, pike push-ups, dips, and everything. So first things first, focus on your calorie deficit, focus on dropping that initial fat first because it's gonna make your body weight training journey so much more enjoyable, so much more easier in the sense that you, you don't have to have all this you know fat on you that's gonna be holding you back from working on your front lever plans and all these different kinds of skills because you still can, right? You still can, but you know it's gonna take a long, long, long time. Um, if you're still overweight and you decide to stay overweight when it comes to calisthenics. But the other thing is, like I said, second thing that you wanna focus on is your fundamentals. Your push-ups, your pull-ups, your pike push-ups, your dips, and um, that's pretty much it for your upper body, right? You wanna focus on that in the beginning because I know a lot of people might think that, oh, uh, you know, I wanna learn planche, let me first start doing tuck planches or, or all this kinds of stuff, right? When it comes to calisthenics, you first have to build your fundamental base. For me personally, I was doing push up, pull up and dips for like two years straight. You know, I didn't work on any front lever, any planche variation, nothing. I simply worked on my um, fundamentals in the beginning because that's gonna give you the necessary tendon strength, conditioning, um, and everything else that you're gonna need so that you can keep on progressing with your uh, later on skills. So that's gonna be pretty much it for this video, guys. You first want to work on your body's composition as far as your calisthenics journey is concerned. So calorie deficit, I have tons of videos on that on my channel. If you wanna check it out, I'll put a link in the description box below of a video that you can use that's actually going to help you lose weight. It's not one of these, you know, bullshit general things that they say for you to eat less, move more. No, I give you everything that you need to know to actually lose weight, the calorie deficit, foods, frequency, what you need in order to actually burn that fat without having to buy anything or, you know, listen to these BS kind of, uh, these people. All right. So catch you guys in the next video. Leave a like if this helped and I'll catch you in the next video. Peace.